Hey everyone, welcome back. Stop and shop. One of the most expensive grocery stores, anyone that has a stop and shop near them will tell you prices are really high at this store. But they had some good sales this week and it was only for a three day sale. So I had to go pick them up and I wanna show you what I got. Sales and a few extras. Okay, so I'm looking at this. Look at this ham, 99 cents a pound. They have Poland Springs water, three for 9.88. 39 cents a pound for sweet potatoes. 10 for 10 for rice a -roni and tuna and beef a -roni cans. Um, 10 for 10 for instant potatoes or scallop potatoes, 10 for 10 for Campbell's soup. And two for four for ragu. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So what did I get? I'm going to show you the things that I got on sale first, and then I'll show you I picked up a few other things while we were there. And I wasn't actually planning on going there, so this was an impromptu trip. But I was I have a seven dollar challenge coming out again. And I've done week one, week two, so now we're working on week three. I want to get four weeks done for you. So you'd have a month of menus that you can use. So I'm working on week three. That's either coming out tomorrow or the next day. But I decided to do it a little different this week, and you'll see why. But in doing so, I had to look at some sales papers, and I saw some of these sales. So for one thing, I know you can make homemade spaghetti sauce. I know that. I don't like it. I just don't. I like ragu. I grew up on ragu. My mother is a ragu girl. We get ragu and they were two for four dollars. For stop and shop, that's a pretty good deal. Um, that's a very good deal for stop and shop. They're usually $4.99 a bottle, $4.50 to $4.99. They're $1.87 at Walmart. So for $2, two miles away from my house, versus driving 20 to 25 minutes. I picked up four of them and I got them flavored with meat. And the reason I did that is it has some meat in it. I don't have to add the meat. Save money on the meat, right? Okay. They had rice a -roni, 10 for 10. So I like the rice peel off and I don't like the chicken rice a -roni that much. I like the beef rice a -roni. Don't know why. I'll do the beef even with the chicken. So I picked up five beef and five of the rice pilaf. You do not have to buy 10, even though they say 10 for 10. These were basically a dollar a box. You don't have to buy 10 of them, but I picked them up both for the pantry, the extended pantry, stockpile, whatever you want to call it. These are great things. We are a family of three and my um, whole family loves rice a -roni. We will eat the rice a -roni. There's no waste with rice a -roni. They're flavored, they come with flavored packets, so you don't have to add your spices and all of that. So for a dollar side dish, I will add a either a can of peas to this, or peas and carrots, or a bag of frozen peas to this. That's what I usually do is I add a green to this. Sometimes I've even put in fresh spinach. Oh, if you haven't done fresh spinach with rice a -roni, thumbs up, it's delicious. So picked that up, I picked these up, how many of you like potato pancakes? Ooh. So I have made them homemade. I'm a, I am I love doing homemaking, any type of homemaking. I'm a career woman at heart with a twist of homemaking. And I'm a weird combination of a personality. But I like everything from scratch. I want to I want to learn how to make everything from scratch. But there's things that I've tried from scratch that I'd rather box mix. And this is one of them. So potato pancakes. But I love potato pancakes with a little applesauce. Oh, yeah. And a little sour cream. We're in business. Okay. So these were two for $3. So I picked up two of those. They had the Green Giant Simply Steamed Vegetables. This is 10 ounces cream spinach. Oh yeah. My husband and I love that. So I picked up two of the spinach and then I picked up one of the white corn in the sauce. Again, 10 for 10 or $1 each. To me, that's a really good deal for the packages like this. 
I wanted to pick up 10 of them, but I have to admit it, I have no room in my freezer. I have a just a small chest freezer, and then I have the top of my refrigerator freezer. They're full, they're stocked. I need to use up some of my freezer stockpile. But I did pick up three. I figured I can squeeze three in there. One of these we'll be using this week with a meal that I'll be showing you in a moment. So that was on sale. What else was on sale? So they had soy sauce. How many of us run out of soy sauce? It's, to me, that's something like I never feel that I've run out of. And did you know soy sauce has no Best Buy date or expiration date? I didn't. I looked up a YouTube video on the 10 foods that don't expire, and soy sauce was one of them. So these were two for $4, so I did get two of them, but I got the low sodium. Let's see this way. I wanted to get the low sodium. Soy sauce is very high in sodium. I have tried to cut out salt quite a bit. Like I don't do table salt. I might cook with a little bit and then that's it. And since I've been doing that, I've noticed like soy sauce and even butter. I go to put butter on my sandwich and I'm like, or like my toast, I'm like, oh, I can taste the salt in it. So got the low sodium on that. And bacon. This is the Jimmy Dean, which is my favorite, Hickory Smoked. Two for six dollars. So they were three dollars a package. I know many of you have said bacon is really high priced. For a while, our bacon was between eight and twelve dollars. I'm like, there's no way. I love bacon, but there's no way I'm paying that. But for three dollars a package, pretty good deal. So I was happy about that. And the rest, I got one more thing. I'm going to save that to the end. I want to show you that at the end, what I got on sale. I'm all excited. So non-sale items. I picked up some beef frankfurters. And, oh, I don't remember how much these were. I apologize. I don't have my receipt with me. These are the Thumans. And they're the. I think these are the skinless. It doesn't say that. But I've, I've gotten them before. They're like a skinless. I like those. I have to go back. I forgot about hamburger buns. You know what? Dollar Tree. Pick them up at Dollar Tree this week. But I once in a while, I just like a quick, easy dinner. Make a little homemade potato salad, you know, or some macaroni and cheese on the side. Maybe some roasted veggies. Have a hot dog. We're good to go. So then I picked up this. I know some of you actually cook this for yourself. Chicken gizzards and hearts. So my stop and shop is the only place I can find this. This was $2.02. .02. So I know uh, many of you said you cook these up and it's oh so good. I think it's a southern dish. Don't think I could do it. If I was raised on it, maybe. But this is for our dog. $2.02. .02. I picked up three of these packages. If you've watched some of my videos, you know we do homemade dog food for his dinner. At night for breakfast, he gets a regular everyday dry dog food. But for dinner, he gets homemade. He'll get this with pumpkin or sweet potato some carrots, some green beans, maybe some spinach. We throw tomatoes and lettuce in there. The dog gets well-fed. Let me just say, he lives in the Taj Mahal at the Wilson home. He is not in need of anything. So I got that. I picked up, okay, uh, let me show you these next. I know, I'm all over the map here. I picked up some golden potato rolls. There's Petridge Farms. My son, we've been buying the Aldi hamburger rolls for him. They're six fifty-eight cents a package. Okay, hamburger rolls are different than potato rolls, and hamburger rolls are fifty-eight cents, cheap, great on the budget. But we were all kind of like after about a month of getting hamburger rolls, and you know, peanut butter and jelly on a hamburger roll. Huh? It, it, we need, you know, what this week. Got a little extra in the paycheck. We're, we're going for the gold here. So we got potato rolls. It was $3.99 a package. Sometimes I can go to Walmart. I can get them for like $2.49. Not as good as the Petrid's Farms brand. It's another brand. I You know what? Sometimes you just need to do it. And we just needed to do it. So that's that. Okay, got all of this. Got all of this. Um, picked up some uh, dog chow just to have extra. And... Um, I know many of you have mentioned you can't get dog or cat food in your area. So my husband went to go get the dog food. And we don't usually get this brand, but he picked that up. And this is 
4.4 pounds. So we just get the smaller ones. We have a smaller dog, but we'll get this. So this is actually going in our stockpile. We have dog food on hand and he only gets it for breakfast and homemade for dinner. But I asked my husband, I said, oh, everybody's telling me they can't get dog and cat food. So he looked down the aisle. He said, actually, the shelves weren't empty or anything, but he said, now we live in a senior community primarily, like 90% senior citizens. I'm actually a senior citizen, but we're talking senior, senior citizens. And they tend to get the smaller things because first of all, it's cheaper. And second of all, they can carry it. And he said, if you wanted, and on a Saturday night, you're going to get what you can get at our grocery store. Like it's the end of the week sale. So they're pretty much depleted. But he said, you could get all the large bag dog food and cat food. There was plenty, no problem. It was the smaller packages. It was kind of like, you know, you had, maybe you couldn't get your brand. You can get another brand. So that kind of thing. Okay. So then I picked up these things. These are two of my favorites. I do love the shepherd's pie mix. I don't get it often. I usually just do my own whip it together. But every once in a while for just an added treat, I like to have that in the stockpile. And I have not used this one in a long time. So we were down the international aisle. I was looking for some kimchi, spotted those, picked them up. Now, I need your help. I think it was Mornings with Granny. If you're watching, I need your help, or if anybody else. I've heard a few people refer to onion gravy. What do you use it for? I've never heard of it. Is it just like a brown gravy you put on potatoes? I mean, they have it on, a like, I guess a burger. I don't know. I've never heard of onion gravy and I've heard a few people mention it. So is there like, a, do you, is it a specialty for a certain type of meal or meat? Um, I don't know, but it was 79 cents. I figured I'd pick it up. I'd check it out. Let me know what you guys use it for. I'd be curious. So my grand finale, my sale. I love and I enjoy a ham. Oops, let me turn it around. This thing's big. Ooh, there you go. Here's my ham. And finale, here we go. I got this big giant ham. Yes, and you're gonna say, what are you gonna do with all that meat? It's three people. Okay, this is 4.39 pounds. So that's a good size ham. It comes with a flavor packet. I never use the flavor packet. I don't like it. But I will cook this up and we will have it with our um, potato pancakes and we'll have it with our cream spinach oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and then I will put it in the freezer freeze is great slice it up put it in little sandwich bags you're good to go it is great for ham loaf if you've never had ham loaf it's like meatloaf but it's ham loaf they have something else in Pennsylvania area Lancaster area they call them ham balls and it's like the ham loaf but they make them in like a meatball and they put it in pineapple seasoning on top Every time we go out there, that's what we look for. It's so, so, so good. But, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table here. I shouldn't be shaking the table. Sorry about that. Um, but I also like to, instead of doing a ham ball, I make it into like a ham burger. I don't know why beef burgers are called hamburgers. I don't know why, but we make them into like a ham patty and fry them up. Oh, so good. And then we just do ham salad. Take the right out of the freezer, thaw it, chop up in the food processor, add some mayonnaise and some relish, whatever you want, even a hint of mustard, and make a delicious sandwich out of it. So this meat will last me forever and ever. I mean, this is like, this will probably last me till Christmas for the amount of meals that I can get out of it. So I will put a picture at the end so you can see it as a close up. But the price of this was $43.86. Busted my budget at that price. But it was on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. So I got this for $9.89. For $10, do you know how many meals I will get out of this one ham? Tons and tons. It will be pennies. So I saved $33.97. So this is one ham, and I said to myself, that was the main reason I went to Stop and Shop tonight. I wanted to get this ham, and I thought I'm going to look for it. I'm going to grab it if I can get one $10 or less. They were all about $12 to $14, and they had one under $10. It had my name on it. It said, at home, 
with Lynn Wilson. This is your ham. So thanks for coming over tonight. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I want to stay connected with you guys, and we'll catch you all on the next video.